Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through limited by budget inside Google Ads. I'm going to go over what it is, uh, why it's cost, and how to fix it. And there's a, a few ways you can go about fixing it, but I'll cover all of that inside this video. So to start off, what is limited by budget? And generally what limited by budget is, it's a little sign up here next to your budget. If you have an active campaign, you're spending a lot of money, sometimes you'll get the notice up here. It'll say limited by budget in red. And what this means is Google doesn't have enough money to spend, and it could spend more inside your Google Ads account if you gave it more. Now, sometimes this is just Google recommending things and it's not really gonna give you that much of a benefit, but sometimes it is realistic and Google is making a good judgment call on that. But it's important to actually look at when you click limited by budget, it will give you stats and say like, okay, this is how many more clicks we can get and this is how many more conversions we can get away. I generally like looking into that. If it's only like one or two more clicks, I don't think limited by budget is that big of a deal because generally you're not even gonna see another conversion with that. But if it is a massive deal, say you're gonna get 20, 30, 40 more clicks, uh, it might be worth just upping the budget. So how do we get rid of limited by budget inside Google Ads? And there's a few ways we can go about doing this. The first one is simply increase the amount of spend we have inside Google Ads. Now I know this may simply seems simple and everyone's like, yeah, duh. Um, but this is one of the easiest ways to actually just get rid of it. If you are concerned about limited by budget and you want Google to run to its fullest extent, you can just up the budget inside Google Ads. It should solve your problem instantly. That being said, not everyone has an unlimited budget like most campaigns. So there's three other ways I recommend going about dealing with limited by budget. The first one is reducing the amount of keywords we're targeting. Now this could be simply going into our campaign. So for this one, we're using our pool installation campaign. We're gonna hit keywords and then going into here and as we can see we have a whole list of keywords and essentially what you could do is just remove some of them or change them over to exact match. And what I mean by this is, so say we have a pool of $1,000 to spend. If we can reduce our expenses on this pool, Google's not going to have all this room to run and it won't need as much of a budget. So if we simply just get rid of a lot of keywords or the keywords that aren't performing as well, we can dramatically reduce the amount of costs associated with this account. That being said, most campaigns have a few keywords that are really profitable, they convert really well, and then the other ones don't convert as well. What I would recommend doing if you have enough data it inside your account and you have limited by budget is simply changing your match type over to exact match and this will get rid of a lot of the search terms that really aren't converting and what I recommend doing is going through your search terms report so here look at what people are actually typing for and then search by conversions and conversion rate to see what is actually converting and that you know is going to actually bring you profitable results after you implement these keywords if you haven't already done so but that's one thing to consider changing all of your keywords over to exact match so you're not going after every single keyword with broad match and phrase match. Exact match is much more narrow. It doesn't need as many resources as broad or phrase match. And it's really going to limit the amount of resources Google needs. And you probably will get rid of that limited by budget rather quickly. Now, the next thing we can do inside Google Ads is simply decrease our area targeted. Like I said before, if we can just reduce our expenses, the limited budget will more than likely go away. And what we can do is come in here to more settings, hit edit in settings, and then come down to the actual targeted area area. And if we have a really big targeted area, we can just simply reduce it. And by doing that, you won't need as many resources to actually bid on these keywords, meaning your campaign will more than likely not be in that limited by budget state. So what we can do here is come into our location settings, hit advanced search, and then maybe get rid of some of the cities that aren't our best converting cities, which you can see actually in our location targeting settings. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but you can simply get rid of let's say Cambridge is just not a great area to target or it's a really far and it's just not getting us the best results profitable. Maybe it's a long drive. Maybe the services just aren't as profitable there. I don't know what it is, but only keep your real key cities that are really producing uh, inside of your area. That way we can reduce the targeted area and reduce our expenses. So we can just get rid of Cambridge by hitting the X button and then hit save. Now, if you actually wanted to check out which cities are converting best, we can come down here to location settings. Uh, we're just gonna hit continue here. And as you can see, we can see all of the clicks, conversion rates, costs, and everything associated with it, which is nice to give you an idea of what cities are converting best and which ones you could get rid of rather quickly if they're not converting. And this will save you money, and this will help with removing the limited by budget notification up here. The last thing I recommend doing is trying to reduce your cost per click. Now, if your cost per click isn't as high, your account isn't gonna need as many resources to bid on these actual keywords, and you won't run into the problem of limited by budget. 
That being said, how do we go about reducing our cost per click? And there's a few ways to actually do this. One is A-B testing your ads. So if we come in here to ads and extensions, going in here week after week, A-B testing our ads and figuring out which one has the highest click-through rate and the best conversion rate will really help with improving our ad rank. And when we improve our ad rank, Google sees this, it will help with quality score. And in turn, if we have a high ad rank and a high quality score, Google gives us favorability in the actual auction house and it reduces our cost per click because they understand that consumers really like our ads and they would rather our ad show over someone whose ad isn't as good because customers have had a good experience with our ads. So they give us a discount and they go, okay, we'll lower your cost per click by you know 15 or 20% if your ad is really good. So it's really important to come in here and A-B test uh, your ads on a regular regular basis, maybe every two weeks or so, come in here, look at what ads have a high click-through rate. More than likely, you'll have one that's the champion, so one that's just winning, producing amazing results, getting all the clicks. Then you'll have one that's kind of on and off, and then they'll have a third one that's just dead. Google has just chose not to run it. And with this third one, I would pause it and create a new ad, and then try and beat the champion ad, and just keep on testing and testing and testing until you have a really high click-through rate and you have a good ad rank. This should help with reducing your cost per click, and again, reducing expenditures inside your account so you're not gonna face the limited by budget. The next thing we can do inside of our account is actually dealing with landing pages. A-B testing your landing pages, making sure the actual landing page experience is very good for your customers. Uh, having a dedicated landing page, not just sending them to a generalized website, will really help with uh, landing page experience. This goes into quality score as well, which helps reduce uh, cost per click inside Google Ads. So it's very important to look at. Always be A-B testing your landing pages so you can get better conversions as well as lowering your cost per click and making the customer experience as great as possible. The final thing I would recommend is making sure you have a good message match between your keywords, landing page, and ads. And essentially this is a three-part system. So if your ads align with your keywords, so say someone types in fiberglass pools or in-ground pools near me and then an ad pops up for in-ground pools and then you go to a landing page that says in-ground pool services call now for a free quote. This is all lined up and it all has an amazing message match, meaning the entire journey is one long message. It's all the same thing. There's nothing different. And I know this kind of sounds like common sense, but a lot of people will just pick a keyword, have a very generalized ad that just says pool installation, and then they'll send them to a normal website that just says pool installation. It has nothing unique about it. It really doesn't have any customization for the customer or what the customer's problem is dealing with, especially if they type in you know, vinyl pool installation and then you just send them to a general ad that says pool installation and then the website is maybe just a contact us page with nothing about pool installation. This is just going to look absolutely terrible to Google. Uh, you're going to have a low landing page experience. You're going to have a low ad rank on your ad because it's not really resonating with your customers because the click-through rate is low and your keywords are also going to suffer as well. They're not going to be shown as often uh, because people aren't actually converting. They're not clicking on these uh, things. So Google is going to penalize you for not having a good message match. So that's the final thing. If you do all those three things correctly, you should have a very strong quality score inside Google Ads, which should help reduce cost per click, which should help reduce your expenditures overall and help get rid of the limited by budget notification up here. Now, now that's essentially all the things you can do inside Google Ads. Are there certain tweaks and stuff you can make Absolutely. You could also go into ad schedule as well. I talk a lot about ad, ad schedule and making sure you can return calls very effectively. And if you can't, generally just don't run the ads at that time. Because if you make someone wait for more than half an hour, chances are they're just going to go find someone else because they're impatient. And people nowadays are really impatient because they know there's a lot of companies out there willing to take them on and you know service whatever problems they have and if you can't do that quick enough they'll just go find someone else so i really recommend only running your ad schedule the days and hours you can actually effectively return calls at or email inquiries at uh, no longer than half an hour is my general recommendation a lot of companies just choose to run ads 24 7 they burn a whole bunch of money and again they're just killing their budget and it will lead to the limited by budget notification up at the top so i really recommend cutting back on your ad schedule to one the most profitable hours and two whenever you can effectively get back to your actual customer this is great this really helps with reducing the amount of budget you need uh, also, Saturday and Sundays for a lot of companies don't convert well, or the actual business owner, whoever's taking the calls, really isn't there completely on Saturday and Sunday because it's their weekend and they don't really want to return calls. So I recommend most of the time just cutting out Saturday and Sunday, running Monday to Friday on your actual working hours or whenever you can return calls or emails at, and that should save you a whole bunch of money inside Google Ads, which should help get rid of the limited by budget notification. So that's it for limited by budget. Those are four ways of going about solving limited by budget 
they should help get rid of limited by budget and really make your account a lot more successful. Again, one thing to note, limited by budget, uh, we have a whole bunch of accounts that say limited by budget in them, but it's not like a massive deal because you're only going to get one or two more clicks if you up the budget by another couple dollars and you're just not going to see many more conversions. So that's important to note before you freak out about limited by budget. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.